What's going on guys? I'm Matt Stryker and welcome back to Ree's Retro Toys. Now, at the beginning of 2024, I mentioned that on my Instagram page that I wanted to do videos that were a little bit more personal to me. Um, not necessarily all toy hunts, right? And, and toy stores and toy collections and things like that. But kind of fit the vibe of our nostalgia, right? Because all of us are very nostalgic for our childhood. And a lot of us grew up in the 80s and the 90s and all love the same toy lines. And uh, a big part of our youth was brick and mortar stores. Um, we're talking about department stores as well as shopping malls. And we grew up in an era where almost any locality had some sort of local shopping mall or strip mall around that we could go to to get our shopping done. And like I had Hills. Hills was one of a, my personal favorite stores that I went to. We had Ames and James Way. Um, GC Murphy's. It's very, very local. Um, but the mall that I used to go to is called um, Shenango Valley Mall. And it is located in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. I grew up in a little town called Mercer, Pennsylvania, which is about an hour north of Pittsburgh. And so our local mall was the Shenango Valley Mall in Hermitage. Well, I've caught wind that the owners um, are basically kicking J.C. Penney's out. J.C. Penney's is basically the last lingering thread of that shopping mall. Um, they are the central anchor store. They used to be flanked on either side. They had a Sears and a Kaufman's, which later became Macy's. Um, so they had three anchor stores, Sears, J.C. Penney's, and Macy's. And um, they're basically kicking pennies out. They're refusing to do maintenance, and the owners of the mall are basically wanting to do something different. I don't know what that entails, but there's a very good chance that the mall will be demolished or completely converted into something that is unrecognizable from what it once was. So I'm taking a drive up here. Actually, this is the day before Toy Hio. So if you see this video and then you see my Toy Hio video, they're basically very, very close in time frame. I'm gonna go stay with my parents who live very close to Girard, Ohio, where um, Toy Hio is taking place. But I wanted to go to my mall one more time, walk around. Um, my parents used to laugh at me. When I walked into the mall, I would walk in and I go, the smell of the mall. Not unlike, um, what was it, Brody from Mall Rats, I guess? But this was way before Mall Rats, right? <laughs> and I was maybe a uh, nine or 10 year old kid when I said something like that. But, uh, so I wanted to walk around one more time and I wanted to take you guys with me. I know it's not your local mall per se, um, but I think you could get a vibe for what this mall used to be. And I don't know how much I'm gonna video because the last time I was in there, I tried to take a tiny little bit of video and the security guy really blasted me. He said, no video in here, we do not want any video. So I don't know what that was about, but um, I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna try to be as flamboyant about it as I was that time either. <laughs> but um, let's see, uh, let's see. Let's see what I can get. And like I said, I want to say my goodbyes because I don't think it's going to be around too much longer. So I want to take you on the road and uh, walk you around my mall. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so we're turning into kind of the side entrance of the mall here. There's a Macy sign here, but actually this end was Sears. I'm gonna do my best to kind of film the parking lot area here before we actually go into the mall. You can see that the parking lot is in quite a state of disrepair. 
but yet they still have mall shuttle services for the local community. This is one of the other main entrances. This was to Sears. And then coming up here is basically the main entrance to the mall. And this is the middle of the mall where you would enter to go to Penny's, Walden Books, National Record Mart, places like that. And then this end of the mall is where Kaufman's used to be, which was later bought out by Macy's. And so this was the third anchor store, as you can see there, Macy's. It's all grown up now. And you can see the parking lot here. It's all terrible. Oh my gosh, am I gonna be able to get over this? <laughs> so let me uh, get a shot of the sign real quick. There's the mall there. I'm going to try to get it from the other angle though so you can actually see the sign. There it is, guys. Snake Valley Mall. Here's the mall sign. Kind of modern. It's like they tried to update it. This is probably updated in the 2000s, I would say. But obviously, it was not enough to save it.
freaking awesome old school elevator. Like this is vintage. It smells old. I wish you could smell the inside of this elevator. Guys, this is probably me leaving Shenango Valley Mall for the very last time. I don't know what's going to happen to the building, but I wanted to say my goodbyes, pay my respects. Did a lot of shopping here when we were a young family. Gave me toys, Walden books, JC Pennies, all that good stuff. have in store for this place but it was good to walk through it one more time and take you guys with me I hope you guys enjoyed this one